There's an old saying, I think it was Hanlon's razor. Hanlon's razor that basically says that never attribute to malice that which can be adequately explained by stupidity. And I think it's a good saying and it's a good point, but I do think that Sean Hannity is far more likely to be malicious than he is to be stupid under this occasion. So I'm, I'm going to disregard Hanlon's razor, Hanlon's razor here regarding uh, Fox News host uh, Sean Hannity and everything. I watched the Gavin Newsom uh, interview that I experienced with uh, Sean Hannity just recently, and I just wanted to come on here onto a platform that will likely dislike me for saying it, but I don't really care about their feelings about that one. But I find Sean Hannity to be an intensely dishonest hack who is is probably intelligent, but is more likely to engage in malicious bad faith criticism on purpose, knowing full well about his level of dishonesty and the fact that it that he is being malicious. You see, I don't I don't trust him the way that other people may. Um, Gavin Newsom got into a discussion with him, and it was fairly cordial between the two of them. Fortunately. You know, I would, I, it almost kind of came off as if, you know, Sean Hannity walked away from it, you know, kind of very, um, actually having a sort of fondness for Newsom, you know, because even though he disagrees with him, he has a sort of cordialness with him anyways, but Newsom knew his shit and it was wild and he just, you know, completely ran him through. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was a good watch to see the spirited debate that happened between the two of them as it went out, but I've been having a little bit of trouble finding art, finding statistics from way back in 2004 about the general number of Americans making more or living paycheck to paycheck. You know, I found one article talking about Americans making a hundred thousand back in 2004 or more. And that 41% of them during the Bush administration were living paycheck to paycheck. I haven't been able to find articles talking about how the general number of Americans living paycheck to paycheck were under the Bush years. I did find one that said that during the Obama years, it was greater than two thirds, that it was 70% under Trump and it's now two thirds again under Biden. But it got me and let's just say that I've been getting numbers like that and statistical figures showing that a huge number or a very large and alarming number of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, you know, for essentially as long as I can remember. It's been an issue since almost the moment I was born, as far as I'm concerned, and it's been ongoing ever since. I'm 37 years of age. I I guess you could say that I, I find it infuriating and appalling that so many Republicans launch bad faith crit criticisms in the first place. Uh, Son Hannity, I'm not please don't take it so personally, please just, you can do better, be better, be a better human being and stop making bad faith criticism. You know, this, this, this really got really, I really find it upsetting that he would try to score points against Biden with his audience and for, you know, manipulating his viewers basically is more likely that the more likely the explanation and trying to score points among Republicans and his own party and partisanship and partisan motivations are far more likely to explain the actions of Sean Hannity than stupidity. But essentially, and, and I'm not being partisan, I'm saying it was high under Obama. Okay. It was very high under Obama. It was high, alarmingly so under George W. Bush. It was probably high back during the Clinton years. You know, the more that I looked into this issue, the more that I found that it had been an issue for a long time. And that's what got me about Sean Hannity's, uh, the Gavin Newsom versus Sean Hannity debate. See, I would accuse Republicans of launching bad faith critiques a lot. There is a tendency, and this echoes down from Sean Hannity to the, your average just Republican voter that you will meet randomly on the streets. One thing that they tend to have in common is the deployment of bad faith criticism in a lot of things. The reason why I say this criticism is bad faith is because, you know, he is attacking Biden with an argument that doesn't really hold up because it's like, 
this has been an issue since before Biden became a president. It's been an issue for like essentially the last 20 to 30 years at the very least, if not, you know, going back even further, you know, I, I came into existence like at the tail end of the Reagan, you know, administration. And, you know, I, I, 37 years of age at this point and you know i look at i i don't i find you know a lot of the republicans to be a little bit untrustworthy because of this you can't trust a republican to make a criticism in good faith because you know if they if they think they can score a point or they can manipulate their audiences they're always going to do it and you know hannity calling biden out saying that two-thirds of americans live paycheck to paycheck is exactly why i've been pissing and moaning for so long about these Republicans making bad faith arguments because it's so hack and partisan, like a partisan bullshit like this. Hey, like it's good for my party to make this, this, this bad faith criticism. So I'll do it anyways. And it's like that the argument is being made in bad faith because he knows the number of Americans living paycheck to paycheck was an issue even back during Bush Jr. And even senior when, and he probably even when senior was in office and he knows this, it, it didn't creep up yesterday. It didn't creep up because Biden suddenly took 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 power, and you know, I, I really think that it's unlikely that Sean didn't know this. So it's it's very unlikely to be 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 stupidity on his part. It's very unlikely to be ignorance as a defense here, you know. And I think it's far more likely that Sean Hannity knew it and yet still would attack attack Newsom with it and hammer him with it to make you know, a point. And, you know, I would say this, I agree that the number of Americans that live paycheck to paycheck is not good. It, it, it's a bad thing. But, you know, I, it's been an, an issue for a long time now. And, you know, for for Hannity to go and act like it just crept up suddenly under, under Biden is just unacceptable, because it, it's appalling how dishonest it is and how likely it is to be in bad faith. It's a 